All right, Mrs. Harrison. Looks like your blood sugar's at 125. That's great. That's right where we want it to be. Good work. If it's okay with you, I'd like to discuss your smoking. I already know what you're going to say. I need to quit. May I tell you what concerns me? Okay, but I just don't see what one has to do with the other. I get so tired of dealing with this diabetes and people nagging me about my smoking. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Harrison, even though I work with patients with diabetes every day, I honestly can't imagine how hard it must be to have diabetes. Now, I know you've been working on your diet and your glucose monitoring and your exercise and your foot care each and every day. And to ask you to quit is just to add one more thing to that already long list. You got that right. Okay. Here's my concern. There are chemicals in cigarettes that can affect how much insulin your body can absorb. If you quit, you might not need to use as much insulin. Plus, smoking can make you more likely to get foot ulcers. Now, you've already had problems with those. But doctor, I don't care about that. I've had to give up almost everything I like to eat, and I can't bear giving up the one thing that gives me pleasure right now. Mm, giving up smoking especially after all the other things you've already given up. Just seems too much to ask right now? Yes, it does. What needs to happen for you to consider quitting? Well, I do have nieces. I call them my babies. I do want to be able to play with them and watch them grow. And I suppose if my health got so bad that I couldn't do that, well... My sister only lives a few miles away, so I get to see them every day. <laughs> she has three little daughters, and it's my job to spoil them as much as I can. <laughs> well, Mrs. Harris, I want you to be able to watch them grow and to play with them as long as you can. But I don't want to see you get sicker and have your diabetes progress and have your health deteriorate because of your smoking. That would be terrible. Ava's the oldest. She's only nine, but just last week we were making a wedding dress for her Barbie doll, and she asked me if I would make a wedding dress for her when she got married. I really want to be able to do that for her. That sounds wonderful. Now, what are your thoughts on quitting to make that a reality for you? I know I should quit, but I'm scared to give them up. Well, what scares you about giving them up? Gaining weight. Lighten up when I'm stressed. I guess I'm just so used to having them. So you're saying that on one hand, you're more concerned about being there for your nieces. And on the other hand, it's hard to think about quitting. Is that right? Exactly. Well, it really is up to you. Now, I can think of ways to help you deal with the stress and the gaining weight and the quitting in general when you're ready. I just want you to have as healthy a life as possible. You really are giving me something to think about. I really do love those girls. I know you do. Let me know when you're ready. Thank you, Doctor. I really will give it some serious thought. Good. Now, we can plan to discuss this further upon your next visit, if you like.